congrats. It was a, it was a lovely, lovely short. It was smiles from start to finish. So did you did you have different um, ideas of how to sort of do another branch of Frozen? Um. It was, you know, it was a, a tough one just to find the, the idea for it. We knew we wanted music, obviously. We wanted another song in there. Um, we knew it had to have all the characters that people have sort of come to know and love. So, yeah, that was the start of it. That was the start. I think originally we even had pitched more of an Olaf-centric idea. Because he's kind of a no, a no, yeah, he's a no-brainer <laughs> in, in a certain way. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but... But then it became, you know, also more important to have the two, our two leads, Elsa and Anna, sort of lead it. And then it became, you know, and then the idea came from one of our story guys, said, what if Elsa, what if Elsa had a cold? What would happen? You know? And so then it just kind of spun from there. And we just did a lot of kind of brainstorming on what would happen. And, uh, and I they had been separated, too. Yeah. Most of the movie, it was mm -hmm. nice to have something that reunited them. And they actually, we realized they actually hadn't, Celebrated a birthday together before because they were always sort of probably kept separate except for when they were very young. Yeah, I don't know which idea came first though. Was it the birthday or was it the cold? That's remember. a good question. I think we needed we did need some kind of event that was happening um, And it was birthday or some other we already did done coronation in the movie so or, or a, a dance whatever so yeah, I think it was the birthday and what could Elsa do for Anna? You know, that kind of thing. So, was it intentional to have all of those little winks and nods to the film in the short? I know the one scene that comes to mind is the one with the boat and all the little mm -hmm. snow. Yeah. Those are intentional. The snow boogers. Snow, babies. snow, babies. snow, babies. snow babies. They're called uh, snow geese. Snow geese. Oh, snow geese. S N O W G I E S. Snow geese. Snow geese. Snow geese. Love it. You're a masterpiece, though, right? <laughs> Well, we're not, but body. someone else. Yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll be in the stores <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, he'll, be, uh, right. he'll be in the stores, what? Right, 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 right when the movie comes out. And the little toys that they have, oh. the little snow geese, um, actually have a, a voice, not voice in it, but a, a recorder. So you talk to it and it repeats what you say, oh, wow. but in a high pitch. Oh. Sort of if you point. get two of them talking, oh, they repeat each other and it keeps oh, getting higher and higher. <laughs> 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 but so oh so the question was uh, all those winks and nods to the film. Do you guys really try to find different places to put that? Or, or yeah, it was yeah it was all about. They sort of occurred naturally, but they were definitely with intent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean once we once we decided that Anna would or Elsa would um, uh, give her these gifts and travel throughout the the, the kingdom. Um, we wanted to use locations from the feature, mm -hmm. you know. So okay, so suddenly, oh yeah, they should go down the hallway together. They should ride the bike. They should um, the boat. You know, let's let's have a little bit out on the dock where you know Hans and Anna met. Let's mm -hmm. and we even framed it so it was very much identical to the right. feature, mm -hmm. the same kind of composition. There, so it was fun. It was fun to actually kind of do those those, uh, those sort of winks mm -hmm. to the movie. What was the um, production time like on timeline like on this compared to a typical um, Disney short? Was this one much faster, just in the um, desire to get more Frozen stuff out, or was it about the same as like Feast or Paper Man? They're all about the same. I mean, they vary in length, just depending upon crew size is mm -hmm. the primary driver behind it. But I think this was about seven months. I think, I think from so. when we started to when we finished. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I think so. A lot of us. It's interesting. We were all taking vacations after Frozen <laughs> because, well, Frozen didn't quite, you know, we finished the movie uh, in October 13, it came out in November 13, and then, but then there was a lot of Frozen after that. Um, we really didn't get a chance, all of us, to take a break till the summer. So the movie, the feature, or I'm sorry, the short sort of started while we were um, we were separated. A little bit of tag team. Yeah, there's a, a tag team things going on because someone will go away for two weeks and we can get back together or whatever. So, um, but I think overall, yeah, it was June to, mm -hmm. to uh, uh, end of January. Really. End of January. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like you said, I think it's the average right for a show. Yeah. Okay. At Disney. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
What about the franchise? Did you expect it to have such legs from the very beginning? And, you know, Disney just had its earnings, and Frozen was, you know, yes. this, this big... Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we predicted it. We've got to bring out the yeah, sealed, sealed envelope. <laughs> <laughs> you had... Uh, you know, no, no, no. I, mean, it was... I think we knew we had a good movie. Yeah. Um, well, we were, we were hoping, but but from the, the preview, right? From the preview, yeah. But I don't think any of us knew that it would become the phenomenon that it became. No, I don't think any of us could predict it. And we, when the movie first came out, then we would start, we would email each other, we'd say, hey, there's this thing on YouTube. Someone's doing like one of the songs, they're doing a spoof of the song on YouTube. Oh, it's, you know, and then we're like, oh my God, it's so funny. And then, um, and then it just, you know, there were like 10, 20, 100, you know. Yeah. No, just hundreds, yeah. <laughs> hundreds, yeah, hundreds of them um, that you know, YouTube and social media really kind of helped us in that. And then the, the, then the music itself uh, or the songs just propelled it. People made Frozen you know, part of their lives, part of their. Um, they made it their own. You know, they, they everybody saw uh, sort of themselves in Frozen in, in one or two of the characters. And, and um, yeah, it was, it was overwhelming, really, as we kept going. And we would get stories. In fact, we still get stories from people, um, what it, it meant to them or their, kid, their kids singing it, you know. Now, it's funny, though, because it did start off as everybody loved Frozen. Everybody and the parents loved Frozen. And then <laughs> a few months. They still loved it. They but. still love it. <laughs> but when you hear something about, you know, 10 million times, mm -hmm. it, you know. <laughs> and their kids are singing it. So, I mean, it, it yeah. For, it's for us, amazing. the social media thing was a great way, because past movies worked on, the, it hadn't quite come into its own the way it has mm -hmm. now. And we realized it was a way for filmmakers to actually feel what the response was, true feeling of the response of, of the public who was seeing it. And that was exciting. Mm -hmm. It was, yeah. You really could. It could get a, a barometer without having to go to the theater each time and, and see what people were feeling. But, um, but it just, it, to all of us, everybody said, well, how do you feel again? Over, Just overwhelmed. You don't really know how to react, especially when, when you know, we, we did um, uh, Reddit, I think, was one of mm -hmm. our most mm -hmm. emotional things that we did. And it started off as a lark, and you, you, of course you guys all know Reddit. Mm -hmm. but, um, and... Um, when, we, when did we do it? Was it right around before the Oscars or something? Or before, January, right, right before the Oscars, yeah. And, and all of us were there, Bobby Kristen and, and Peter Jen and, and myself. And, um, and uh, the, the question or comment that, that came up was a woman said that uh, she was in a, a very bad place and that she almost took her life. And she saw Frozen. And then she said, I related to Elsa. I saw how she got through it, through the movie, and um, and she said, I'm still here. And wow. you know, we're like, oh my gosh, wow. you know. And that was just sort of the beginning of some of the stories that we were getting. We were learning about parents with the kids who had, who were autistic. And for the first time, they were sitting down and watching, you know, an hour and a half movie, and they were relating to, to Olaf, you know. And so there were these stories that we all kept getting and in mm -hmm. another one I just got recently and I got them all the time um, my wife's friend works at, a, at a, um, a nursing home and there's a woman who is just kind of out of it and not really uh, engaging in anything and she's not frozen and she started drawing and she hadn't drawn she used to be an artist and she hadn't drawn for you know years like 20 years and then her husband said she's drawing, and she's drawing the Frozen characters. Oh, wow. And she was just loving it. So, you know, there's this things that uh, Frozen became, we talk about, way bigger than us. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, again, you get stories like this almost every day, and you don't know quite how to take it. I mean, you're very <laughs> honored by it, but it is, can be very Sweet. overwhelming. Can you give us a hint as to where, obviously it's branching off and it's, as you said, becoming bigger than, than you knew it, or could expect it to be, but give us a hint as where Frozen Fever might go. Is it to branch into something, another project? Gosh, I don't know. 
you know, right now, <laughs> we literally, it feels like we finished the movie. <laughs> we're working on the short. We just finished the short, so I think we're still, uh, uh, we're, we're, we're enjoying the ride. <laughs> <laughs> we're we get a break. To this weekend is our break. <laughs> 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 Two weeks before yeah, you go yeah, back. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I mean, I mean there's fine. still a lot of frozen um, ancillary projects that we're involved with, you know, things yeah, for sure. parks and uh, How involved products are you in, with the parks, like the, what's well, going on at California Adventure? We started a, a, it's called the Frozen Franchise Team, uh, which includes Chris, myself, Mike Jam, our art director, and a few others. And uh, anytime any of the divisions want to do something related to Frozen, it comes through the team for review just to make sure it's staying true to the characters, staying true to the theme of the movie, and that the, the quality that we want is there. Um, it's it's daunting because there's so much happening. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, it's a good it's a good problem. It is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I think it was incredible going through a couple of mentions going through Arendale. It looked exactly yes. like the movie. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had a question. We were actually discussing this earlier. That, do you think there'll be an Olaf movie by himself? <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. I mean, you know, we love Olaf, and so um, I think, you know, who knows? Who knows what can happen? Well, he certainly, um, I think, could handle, you know, a movie. And so he's, he's just such a great, innocent, fun, kid like character. I think everybody relates to him. So, and he says these wonderful things that that are sometimes very. You go, how did he come to that? But it's very kid-like, you know, it's kid logic. And so I think that's why he's so endearing. And then Josh Gad, it's incredible. And Josh does a lot of, you know, we'll have the the script there, but then Josh does a lot of improv from there. We play with him in the in the recording room. So come up with some gold that way. <laughs> Going back. Time for one last question. Going back to the short, how did you guys come up with the idea of following the string to get oh, all the gigs? That's a good gigs? story. I'll mm -hmm. let Chris tell that one. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I'd almost forgotten it. I was a story boy, a story artist that said, hey, what about the string thing that you guys did? Because we are trying to figure out how Elsa would get Anna out of the castle. What would be our little mm -hmm. device to get her to go from gift to gift? And what happened was um, my wife and I, I think we only did it once because it was such a mess. Um, <laughs> we did, it was at Easter, and three boys and that we have, and um, someone gave us this idea about this string thing, and what you do is, you know, so we have three different color colors of yarn, and we started in the house somewhere, and we just, they just tie them all over, and they were all leading to their Easter baskets. Mm -hmm. So it just wound around the house and over <laughs> and around each other, and. Even and finally their baskets were outside, so this, the, the string of yarn was outside, and they found them. But it was such, such a mess for me. I could barely after we finished it, and it was you know like at two in the morning before the kids were gonna get up. I could barely get to the bedroom because I had to crawl under and over and all the string to go to sleep. But uh, but that's where the idea kind of came from. Someone, someone gave us that idea, and we thought it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a fun thing, so we thought it would be fun for us. So. A lot of the ideas do come from personal experiences, so it's fun. All right, thank you guys. Okay. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much.